Modern digital cordless phones are a marvel of reliability. They can be used a long distance away from their base units, maintain a relatively clear audio signal over that distance, and are cheap and plentiful. Broadcast quality wireless microphones, on the other hand, require advanced digital technology to maintain that professional sound. They sound great, but can be very expensive. Even with today's digital microphones, sometimes there are problems with reliability in the field. Can a cheap cordless phone be converted into a wireless microphone, and how good would the quality be? Let's find out. I picked up this digital cordless phone from a used goods store for $5. It was missing the wall charger, the rechargeable batteries in the handset, and the owner's manual. I found the manual online, bought a couple of batteries, and scavenged around to find a replacement wall charger. A quick test of the unit showed that it was in perfect working order. Now the fun begins. Pop open the base unit and turn on the handset. Start probing around with an oscilloscope on all of these test pads located all over the circuit board, while simultaneously scratching on the microphone to make some noise. Eventually, you'll find a source of audio that peaks around a couple of dozen millivolts with no DC component. That's the spot you're looking for. Tack solder an audio jack to this point into a common ground connection. Hook the audio jack up to a suitable amplifier and a speaker or headphones so you can monitor what's going on. Now crack open the handset and find the small Electret microphone on the PC board. Carefully remove the mic using a soldering iron and a solder removal tool. Add a length of shielded cable to these new clean connections. I had a few spare microphones lying around so I tested a few until I got the best audio level. But if you don't have extras, just use the one you removed from the PC board. Connect the microphone to the end of the shielded cable and protect your connection with some shrink wrap tubing. Close the handset back up and then make a nice job of the base unit with some more shielded cable and position the audio output jack on a suitable area on the base PC board. Drill a hole through the back of the base unit shell for the new jack and then close up the unit. That's it. You're done. So how well does this thing work? Well, right now, you're listening to the base unit plugged directly into my camcorder across the room. Now, of course, it sounds a little bit like a telephone, which isn't too surprising, really. But with a little bit of equalization, it can sound somewhat better. And as you can see, it's got great range without too much noise. Now, this won't ever substitute for a professional wireless microphone, but in certain situations where you need a cheap wireless connection, it will do the job. Have fun trying this out with any old wireless telephone that you have.